What's going on guys? We are back once again and obviously what you're seeing on your screens if you're looking at a, another show what we're seeing today is the Golden Girls. The classic sitcom of the 80s and the 90s so again if you guys remember the Golden Girls let me know what you guys thought about it down in the comments down below but I'm going to get into my personal review, my memories of watching this and just my overall mainly my memories of this show so overall i remember watching this show a lot as a kid i remember watching this just all the time you know late night or before school or you know when i stayed home from school when i was sick a uh, lot of lot of fond memories of watching the golden girls i would laugh tremendously at the comments and even while I'm doing this review, it, it it shocks me to know still that unfortunately none of these actresses, these legends are no longer here. You know, Betty White was the last one to unfortunately leave us. And she held a very near dear place in a lot of our hearts. And so did many others on the cast. And I will say, if they ever did try to make a, if they, because there's been talks of a reboot, there's been talks of a, oh, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. No, no, you're, you're not going to be able to redo this show. You're not going to be able to recapture the magic that was the Golden Girls. The entire premises of this show is... Obviously, you have uh, Rue McCallahan playing Blanche, who she, the whole story after you get through some episodes is how her fighting, you know, Rose to move in with her, and then Dorothy, and then they move in, and then Sophia moves in, which is, you know, played by Selegetti, who, uh, you know, of course, B. Arthur plays in here as Dorothy's Bornack, and, of course, Betty White as Rose Nyland. And they go through the journey of just different things daily of, like, you know, Dorothy dealing with her ex-husband, Stan, or, um, you know, Dorothy being single, uh, you know, Sophia going from the home to living in a, uh, you know, this this beautiful home that ran, that Blanche owns, and then Blanche being, you know, the uh, the single, uh, I, I, I'm just going to say it, single cougar, you know, that she was, you know, very flirtatious, very um, seductive, the way she was with a lot of men, Rose being kind of the, the airhead of the group, and Dorothy being the smart ass of the group, and Sophia being kind of all the ways, man, she was kind of the airhead slash, you know, seductress slash smart ass slash everything, and she was the mom of the group, and it, it was just an amazing time of different uh, episodes that I personally love and I will always remember I think one of my favorite ones is where they watch Psycho and then at the very end of the episode Sophia comes in with a knife scaring them and I love that episode I laugh so hard each and every time I see that episode or the part where uh, Blanche talks about the first time that you know she had uh sexual relations with another uh guy and then um she says well in the south we mature faster i think it's the heat and then dorothy just comes back and goes i think it's the gin you know these classic one-liners that i know a lot of people including myself will always remember that you can't help but just laugh like you know there's was one other where she uh goes well where are you going dorothy's like to either get ice cream or commit a felony i'll decide in the car you know there, there, it's just things like that that you cannot you know keep trying to make up because again i i'll always love the golden girls it's it's always going to be a part of my childhood it's always going to be hilarious and it's fun, man. It's very lighthearted. um it, again it was different times so anyone that does not like it I'm just going to say this, get over it, get, get, get over it, I mean, it was a different time, and it, a lot, there was really nothing bad about it, I mean, they did encounter a lot of things like a normal uh, show would, they, uh, they dealt with um, sexism, they dealt with racism, they dealt with, uh, you know, abuse, they dealt with um, age neglect, they dealt with a lot of different things in this show, and 
especially at the time, they handled it very well, in my opinion. And if you watched it when you were younger, you may not get all the uh, the messages behind some of it. But at the end of the day, you will if you really get if you if you're older and you start trying to understand most of it, then you will understand more of what they were trying to show you later on down the line. So I'll have to say. In all fairness, I think that this show was amazing. No matter, it's it's going to be a legend, you know, for um, however long it's going to stay. And I'll always love this show. I'll always, you know, love the show. I'll always love how um, they would just have fun on the show, man. I mean, I mean, it was for funny ladies having cheesecake, talking about their relations with men or how, um, you know, the episode where Rose had a, had a dead suitor in her bed or how Sophia, um, went to kiss, went somewhere without them or how they ended up in jail or, uh, Man, what was another one where Sophia almost died due to eating too much or Rose, had her, you know, dream of getting her head frozen, they all did as well, or, um, the hurricane, or, or, or Sophia's classic line, there's a hurricane coming, and, <laughs> and what's so funny here, guys, is me being originally from Florida, that's what made it so funny, and I love that scene so much, and I still love that, I, I will still say, you know, like, though there's a hurricane coming, you know, that's where I always got that from. So again, this show will always be very near to my heart. You know, if you have not seen The Golden Girls, definitely give it a shot, man. It's it's a very classic show. Great comedy, great acting, great story, great show for its time, still is, and it's, it's just going to be a classic for as long as I think we're going to be around in this world. So let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments down below about The Golden Girls. Hope you guys enjoyed it like I did. If you guys haven't, give it a try. It's something a little different, but definitely give it a try. So let me know what you guys think about it regardless, and I'll see you as always on the next one.